Has Linus seen Fanboys yet? I can't tell if it's a good movie, but I love it. I haven't. My sister recommended it to me. Sure, yeah, okay. Have you watched Clerks? I have seen Clerks. Yeah, okay. I love Clerks. I love Clerks as well. Fanboys was all right. Yeah, I, I read the synopsis, or like I read the like... Normally I don't, but my sister recommended it and I love my sister, but her taste in movies doesn't overlap much with mine. (laughs) And so I read not the synopsis, but just like the box, you know, summary. I was like, yeah, I was like big Omega fan of clerks and then watched fanboys and was like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we'll have to do a, oh, oh, we'll have to do a movie night because I installed something. Well, I had someone installed it. I oh yeah got something crazy. Did I talk Dan? Did I talk on Wan Show about the biggest TV in the world? Last yeah, year? yeah, absolutely. Did I? Um, the the horrific Chinese one that you couldn't get out of China because oh of yeah, we talked a about whole it bunch of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but did I talk about that? I have it. You did not. Yeah, didn't think so. Okay. Well, I have it. It's a two video series because of reasons. Number one is I think there's too much content. The video would be like really, really long. Um, and two, because this thing was thousands and thousands of dollars and I need two videos out of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Honesty is the best policy, Luke. And people, people will flame me for it. I but the, I'm, just, I'm just telling you. Everyone else is doing the same thing that I'm doing. I'm just being honest with you. So don't shoot the messenger. Um, The first video is kind of, it's an unboxing, but it's an adventure because 115 inches, Luke. Yeah. It weighed twice as much as what the website said it did. (laughs) Is there anything else that's... Because Chinese specs, I guess. Is there anything else that's inaccurate? Have well, you measured things? Hold on. Or is so, its brightness accurate? So so the very process of getting it into the building was an ordeal of epic proportions. Yeah. Um like the 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 box for it. Once we, look, it's a multi-layer box and once we had it all like packed out, it was like a maze in my rec room. <laughs> like it, it's incredible. This this the scale of it. 115 inches sounds like almost double the size of a 65 inch TV. Yeah. It's not because it's diagonally it's measured. It's so much bigger. It's enormous. <laughs> um, and it weighs so much. It comes with, it comes with these silver handles that look like butt plugs that have threads about they this do. long. I just didn't think he was going to say it, but they do. <laughs> they have thread, not safe ones. They're not flared at the end, but they have threads about this long. You screw them into the sides of the TV at about this height and this height so that two wow. like strong men can move it. Yeah. It's Move it, yeah. Crazy. Yep. So the first video is getting it to the uh, point of powering it on because mm-hmm. there's some. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna spoil one. I'm gonna spoil one roadblock. Um, you cannot get past the opening splash screen unless you have a Chinese phone number. You can't get a Chinese phone number unless you have a Chinese ID. So even just getting the thing turned on in the first place. <laughs> was an exercise in in patience and 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 hard work and you wouldn't it's like my so wife um it, supply okay no, i can't i can't i can't can. um sorry what, what were you what just, nothing don't worry about it uh anyway the point <laughs> did we both make the same joke <laughs> he's, he's, uh, continue, related please. Related. Please, please related please continue yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. um <laughs> then part two we get brandon from the lab out we measure this thing I had some time to experience it, try different kinds of content on it. And um, I (sighs) love it. Every piece of content that I have put on it is like I've never experienced it before. And what's (laughs) really cool about it is watching SDR content. Maybe the color experts out there, guys, Forgive my ignorance here. Color science is something that I have learned enough about to 
get through that segment of the video and then move on and kind of forget half of it and then look into it again. Like I've, I've built up a little bit of knowledge about it, but it is as much magic as it is science. It's, it's crazy. As soon as you start getting into light and color mixing and the, the perception of the human eye, it, it gets mind boggling. Um, but something that I have never understood is when you've got a display like this one, for example, I think it'll do like eight or 900 nits peak brightness or something. Why is it that the SDR peak brightness is like a third of that? And that's always the case. Why don't you just make the bright parts more brighter? I'm not a clue. I don't understand that. Why do you, why do you limit the brightness in SDR? Well, guess what? This TV doesn't. It will do literally 5,000 nits peak brightness Jeez. on SDR content, depending on the conditions. It will do a full right, screen flash. Not even a flash. Like, a, like as far as we can actually tell, get flash it, can do, it can do full screen white at 850 nits Jeez. across its entire 115 inch diagonal what is the surface. What's the power draw on that? Playing back SDR content. So I put on How to Train Your Dragon, like the one from 2010, the first movie, and I flipped it on for Andy and Andrew. <laughs> I love that Andrew is Irish, so I'm always like, what about second Andy? <laughs> Doesn't matter. The point is, I put, it, I put it on for both of them. I'm like always saying that to him. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't. Um, I put it on for them, and I was like, okay, this is mind-boggling. And they're like, the, the opening scene where the dragons are like attacking the village with fireballs or whatever. And I was like, okay, but wait for it. Like, is your mind blown? They're like, wow, the size. Wow, it looks so good. I can't believe, you know, it's not, it's, I can't believe it's not OLED. The darks are so dark because it's it, um, mini LED, a full array, local dimming. 20,000 zones. How'd they even, what controller is even driving that? Okay, it doesn't matter. The point is, I was like, guys, guys, you haven't even noticed the craziest part. This is SDR content. And they were like, no. Is HDR content like painful? It's, it, well, it reaches the same peak brightness in SDR and HDR. Mm. It just yeah. is black to the whitest white. And it just is like, okay, I mean, yeah, why not? That's what I would like to understand. And whatever your answer is, is not good because they did it. They did it. Yeah. And so that's, that's what I want to know. And now that I've seen <laughs> SDR content that isn't just kneecapped by not allowing the screen to go to full brightness, it has me questioning everything about HDR, Luke. HDR still has a wider color gamut. It still looks better, but we could have had we could have had SDR that looked flipping great yeah. for years. A lot of the marketing stuff of HDR was around the, the brightness, brightness, the peak yeah. brightness, yeah. and not just the peak brightness. Look at the, the the difference between the peak brightness and the blacks, and you could do that in SDR. It turns out, apparently, apparently. Yeah, so it's 115 inches, not 150, and the full screen white was 850 nits. It's only in in small points where it will do um, the the full 5,000 nits. But on a 115 inch TV, you got to remember a one percent window is like this big. <laughs> so have you have you watched Pirates of Sil Silicon Valley? Yet? I haven't yet. That's funny because that's going to be so boring on that TV. <laughs> It's just like all takes place in like ugly 80s offices. A lot of it's just offices and stuff. There is some, I mean, there's, there's some, there's some scenes in there with Bill Gates, like when he gets arrested and stuff. Um, yeah. That'll be outside. But I mean, yeah, yeah. It's not like a show off a TV movie. I'll say that much. Um, hold on. Who just, who just said this? Hold on. Someone just said. No HDR on Linux. Uh, someone in Float Plane chat. No, yes, yes, Steam Deck. I, I, I can't wait for Steam OS to just be an OS I can just run. Is that a thing? Is that going to be a thing? Apparently. Oh, cool. I mean, it's Valve time, so who knows, but yeah. theoretically, yes. Maybe in 20 years. Yeah, this is TCL's 115-inch TV. 